All right there, boys and girls, back at it again. And today I've got another good one for you. Today we're just gonna do a quick comparison video of my Arai Corsair X Nikki Hayden replica graphics. A little while back after posting a video of my Nikki Hayden World Superbike graphic, which is the helmet on the right, someone asked what was my favorite uh, Nikki Hayden graphic and suggested I do a comparison video. So these are the three Corsair X Nikki Hayden graphics uh, that are offered from left to right. On the left, you have the Laguna Hayden. In the center, you have the Nikki 6. And on the right, the Nikki 7, also known as the World Superbike. Um, the one on the left, Nikki wore in his first win in MotoGP. The one in the center, Nikki wore in his last year in MotoGP. And on the one on the right, he wore in his last season in World Superbike. Nikki Hayden was the last American motorcycle racer to win the MotoGP championship, which he won in 2006 aboard the Repsol Honda. And Nikki, uh, untimely, unfortunately, he passed uh, in an untimely manner in 2017 after the World Superbike race while he was struck by a drunk driver while riding his bicycle with his fiance and he succumbed to the injuries. Nikki was probably one of the most beloved riders in MotoGP, you know, as an American and as an American rider, you know, I definitely looked up to uh, Nikki Hayden and always thought he was a great rider. And anytime Arai releases a Hayden replica graphic, I always try to pick it up. Nikki had a lot of really cool graphics. Uh, one of the ones I missed, uh, which was for the Corsair V, uh, was the one that looked like it was a helmet on top of somebody's head. I believe that was the Nikki 5 or the Nikki 4. Now, that was a great graphic. But overviewing the offerings that Arai puts out for the Corsair X, you know, you see a lot of similarities to them all. A lot of them have uh, parts of Americana on them. They have stars and stripes or they just have the stars. Um, the two on the left both have a camouflage pattern, uh, but they all have that flow red going on and all of the designs are done by, uh, the graphic designs are done by Starline and he's always done Nikki's graphics. Um, so we'll just start off the, uh, the Hayden Laguna, great graphic, one of Nikki's originals, not as, um, as bright as the other ones in terms of pop. It just has that pop of flow red and it has the really cool uh, camouflage pattern in it. There's a metallic flake in all the paint. Really looks awesome. Right now I've got this Corsair X equipped with the silver mirrored visor. And I think it really looks good um, on this helmet. There's nothing on the back of this helmet, just that cool camo pattern this helmet will just go with just about anything any bike uh, if you're a fan of american motorcycle racing and nikki hayden uh, the hayden laguna is a great helmet uh, to get really nice overall next we'll go to the nikki six now this is one of my favorite helmets, I think because of the amount of flow green and the fluorescent red, I think it looks really good. It has uh, the number 69, Nikki's number on the back and his motto for the year, um, his initials NH and let's get it. The American flag tribute there, little American flag stuff on the side, the 69 up on the chin there. This helmet looks more evil Knievel, if you ask me. I really uh, enjoyed this graphic when it came out. Um, and subsequently, it was a very popular graphic, so Arai re-released it in 2020, and it may still be for sale um, in their current lineup. So if you could find this helmet, you're a fan of Nikki Hayden, and you really like this helmet, uh, the Nikki 6, I would definitely go pick it up while you can before it sells out. Um, the metallic flake on this, super nice. The green metallic and the camouflage looks super sweet. 
I think if you compare it to the camo and the other one, it's a little, a little superior uh, because of the metallic flake that's in it there. Um, I kind of prefer that metallic. But again, this was a, an, a helmet from an older, um, say a, a few years before this one. Um, so this was the older style helmet and this was the newer one. This one to me seems a little bit brighter. Um, in terms of the brightest helmet, it would have to go to the World Superbike helmet. This is pure Americana at its finest, which would make sense. It's got the 69 up on the top, very Evil Knievel-esque, the stars, very, very, very bright helmet. Um, if you are looking for something that really pops, <coughs> I would say, excuse me, I would say this one uh, pops the most in terms of uh, just how bright it is because of the amount of flow red uh, coming out of the back and also on the front of this, this helmet really just uh, stands out and pops. This helmet, I really liked when he was riding for the Honda team and World Superbike in those uh, last few years. And yeah, this helmet is a great helmet overall uh, with the terms of design. But if I were to say personal favorite, I would probably rank them. Maybe I'd go this would be number three in terms of my favorite. Uh, this would be number two. And this would be my favorite. So I think the Nikki Six is my favorite, followed by the Laguna, followed by the World Superbike. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions, guys and girls' opinions on this. Let me know what you think. If you're a fan of Nikki Hayden, if you own any of these, helmets uh, on the Nikki six here I have I believe this is the mirrored red um, visor on that one and on the world superbike I have the mirrored blue to me those are the visors that go best uh, with these helmets although interchangeably you could put the mirrored blue on either uh, on any of these helmets and it would look good and you could put the mirrored red on any of the helmets and it still look good. The silver, I think the uh, the mirrored silver would look good on the World Superbike, but not as good on the Nikki Six. Uh, these helmets are really just, I think in terms of graphics for a lot of riders, Starline, Nikki Hayden always put out some serious graphics. You could just see the um, the evolution of of his graphics really and and what it was what it was like back in 2006, uh, maybe 2013-ish or 14 for this one, and then 2017 uh, for that. But yeah, you know, this is my uh, collection of Nikki Hayden Corsair X replica graphics. And uh, if you're a Nikki Hayden fan or just a fan of motorcycle helmets in general, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend the Arai Corsair X. It's Arai's top of the line race helmet. Um, super, super comfortable, vents a ton of air, Great high speed stability, and uh, overall it's a great track helmet. And yeah, you can wear it on the road uh, as an everyday helmet. I don't think it's overkill, unlike an AGV Pista. Um, it's very comfortable. Uh, the lining and, and everything that a ride does on that helmet is, is top notch. It's just a really excellent helmet overall. And if you're looking for one, um, you know, you got a fan of Nikki Hayden, you got three to pick from. I would say this helmet may be discontinued from production, the World Superbike one. Um, that may be a tougher one to find if you are a fan of it. It really is a, a very lovely helmet, very striking. Um, the Nikki 6, I know it's sold out in a lot of places, so if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one and find one, um, I would recommend doing it because it may not re-release it. And the Laguna one, if you can find it again, um, yeah, I would definitely check it out. Those are the back views of the helmets. A lot of similarities between them, but enough difference and nuance between them all um, that if you had all three in your collection, it would really look good uh, either way. But again, my favorite is, is the Nikki Six. 
because of the flow red and the flow green, the green camo and the Evil Knievel-esque uh, stars and the 69 on the chin there, followed by um, the Hayden Laguna. I like it because again, of the camouflage. Um, and then I'd follow it up with the World Superbike one, which was a great helmet, 69 blazed up on the top and really a great looking helmet again. If you have the means, a Nicky Hayden fan, check out the Rye Corsair X and try to pick one up uh, to show uh, show respects to Nicky. As always, stay fresh.